the panelists. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Today, I'm going to talk about understanding the concept of sexual harassment. Hostile environment affects the whole organization, not just the people who are harassed. Kill Martin says. Who is Kill Martin? Kill Martin has served as a sexual harassment training consultant for many organizations and the armed forces, including the U.S. Army, Air Force, and Naval Academy. Sexual harassment is not about sex. It's about power and aggression and manipulation. No one deserves or asks to be sexually harassed. Everyone has the right to work and live in an environment that is free from harassment, bullying, discrimination, and violence. Sexual harassment is illegal. Those who are aware of behaviors that can be interpreted as harassment are less likely to behave in that way and more likely to notice any form of harassment. As the saying goes, knowledge is power. We can stop someone harassing us by educating them and tell them that their act is already harassing us. Before we go deeper into this issue, let us know what is sexual harassment is. Sexual harassment is any form of unwelcome sexual behavior that's offensive, humiliating, or intimidating. Sexual harassment is one of the most controversial issues that we encounter almost every day in our lives. I say we because sexual harassment happens to both men and women. Sexual harassment happens not only when you are in the office or at home. It happens everywhere. Whether we are at a party or in malls, when we are riding public transportation or even just walking down the streets. Here are some examples of sexual harassment. Unwanted jokes, gestures, offensive words on clothing, and unwel unwelcome comments. Touching and any other bodily contacts, such as scratching or patting a co-worker's back, grabbing an employee around the waist. Repeated requests for dates that are torn down or unwanted flirting. Transmitting or posting emails or pictures of a sexual or other harassment related nature. These examples often ignored because of lack of knowledge and information that such act was already committed and sometimes victims tolerate it because the attacker is their relatives, friends, co-workers, and acquaintances. Victims of sexual harassment can suffer significant psychological effects including anxiety, depression, headaches, sleep disorders, weight loss or gain, nausea, lowered self-esteem, and sexual dysfunction. Under Republic Act 7877, also known as the Anti-Sexual Harassment Act of 1995, individuals alleged to have committed sexual harassment may face criminal prosecutions by law enforcement and may incur penalties as a result of civil litigation. Understand, understanding sexual harassment helps us protect ourselves and prevent others from harassing us. The most effective weapon against sexual harassment is awareness. There are things to address this issue. Provide education and information about harassment to all staff on a regular basis. Provide protection and support for the employees who feel they are being, being harassed. With this step, we can have a working environment that is free from sexual harassment. We have discussed what is sexual harassment, its consequences, and ways to prevent it. By educating ourselves, we can stop sexual harassment. In a world full of uncertainty, we can say that having a safe environment and working place to live in is good for us. I will leave you with this quote. We should not be a victim of sexual harassment. Instead, let us be the shield for those who suffer from it. Let us spread awareness to fight sexual harassment. Thank you. Thank you, sir.